The disasters experienced by Queensland in the summer of 1011 are the largest natural disasters recorded in Australia's history. We had affected thousands and thousands and thousands of people in an event that for many of them would be the most traumatic and difficult of their lives. I felt like I would like to write something about that because I felt so emotionally connected to what happened. I worked on this piece for a few very intense months and I lived with it day and night. I truly woke up sometimes in sweat worrying about this or that moment. The first movement I said it just has to be the flood itself because otherwise everything else does not make sense. The biggest fear I had, maybe the, am I sensitive enough to what other people are thinking or feeling? because I did not live through it. That was the biggest problem for me, that I did not live through it myself. And how dare I write about something somebody else has felt. This is, and I couldn't find another example in history of something that describes water in a negative way, in a menacing way, the danger of water, what, what water can, can do to a community like Brisbane. So, Interesting, how do you bring out this menacing effect? Probably every member of that orchestra was either personally affected or had a good friend or family member somewhere uh, who was affected. It was one of those sorts of events where everybody was connected to it somehow and if you went through it you didn't forget it and it affected you somewhere deep inside yourself the devastation was just so shocking that was really the first time i had felt personally overwhelmed by the disaster that we were facing as we weep for what we have lost and as we grieve for family and friends and we confront the challenge that is before us. I want us to remember who we are. We are Queenslanders. We're the people that they breed tough north of the border. Anna Bly used words which, for some reason, resonated with me. And they were poetic and very heartfelt, but not put on. They were just real. There's nothing like human voice that represents actual people. And I felt that I really want real, you know, real people, real people singing. I thought to myself, I can't do this. It's just too hard. Uh, there's no way I can uh, stand up and sing. Stop. 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 The more we sung the words of Anna and the words that had been written for the work, the more difficult it came and gradually I came to accept it. But even right up to the last minute uh, on Sunday night, I still found it quite confronting to sing those words.
thinking back on that movement, uh, you you remember the people rallied together for the cleanup. I find that this piece is very uplifting, and I, it's it's probably Elena's uh, relation to the uh, to the humanistic positive things that this tragedy brought here to Brisbane, people coming together. And as we know, tragedies are always an, uh, a wonderful opportunity to, for people to uh, forget their, their indulgence in their own lives and just to get together and do something for others. very nice for me to sort of it's a human thing just one individual one soul write that sort of music and get a feel for what actually happened here. That beautiful uh, dance at the end there where everybody was coming together and holding one another. Sorry. What this symphony did was take us on a very emotional journey. There were people uh, sitting near me who were drying their eyes at, at one point, reliving something that had been just so traumatic for so many people. At the end of it, people were left with this sense of uh, we'd overcome something and that's something that we could feel good and strong and optimistic about. Music goes right to the heart of emotions in the most unexpected way. I would hope that our performance of Symphonia Alluvium has helped people and touched people in a way that will make them realise that we will never forget these events.